Queensland. I'm so excited. I've apparently just gotten back from an international tour. It still sounds pretend when I talk about it. It came together in ways that I am still in disbelief of. I, uh, I don't know how to describe the last couple of days, but yeah, I guess I will tell you when I see you. I'm a DJ, producer, and event curator from NAM, Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> Croaky. <laughs> so husky. I like my husky voice. It's a lot of shit talking to get a husky voice like this. I can't wait to just like do more of this, like times 10,000. <laughs> I was always creative from a young age. Um, ever since I was a kid, it was usually drawings, writings, poetry. Usually it was just gifts for my mum, like all I ever wanted to do was just create something that made her proud of me, made her happy. I had a keyboard, it had three memory banks on it and all I wanted to do was have a hundred layers. I just wanted to layer and layer and layer this music. I remember making songs and just feeling so good being able to express myself musically but I never really thought to take it seriously or to look into it more until I was craving, I guess, a way to have creative expression again. <laughs> inspired by music, I'm inspired by places and people and new sounds but my biggest inspiration is seeing how people feel when they hear certain music and seeing how people warm up on a dance floor. I like to make people happy and like make people forget forget their problems or or even want to talk more about their problems. I feel like on a dance floor everyone heals, everyone feels the same and that's really special to me. The more I started to push the boundaries of what I was allowed to do, the more and more I saw people reacting in such different ways. And I thought, you know, if I want to play as heavy as I like, which is pretty bloody heavy, then I needed somewhere to do it. And that's where Dazed Hard Dance Therapy was born. So it's a party that I've been throwing for just over a year. I'm able to control everything from the temperature, the smell. I organise the lineup. The dance floor moments that happen there, I mean, I've had, I've had grown men like cry in my arms afterwards because they were so just happy with how they felt and it also means that I get to be on the dance floor healing myself at the same time and I guess that's where the hard dance therapy name was born. So um, I invited my mum and my stepdad to come see me play at Revolver and mum was like, oh it's cool, I'll just stand up the back, I'll just have a beer and stand up the back and halfway through my set there she was, front and centre at the cage, just tapping people on the shoulder and being like, that's my daughter, that's my girl. You know, playing music at four o'clock in the morning to quiet, sometimes questionable dance floors full of lovely people doing naughty things, it's not always the, the way that you can get your parents behind you. So that was a really big moment for me. I, I mean, it's people's dreams to love their job. And so I feel so lucky to, to be able to do that in a way that's also creative. It's just the best blend of everything. So I guess success is, I'm not gonna say it's me right now because it could have been me last week and it could be me in the future. But I guess success is just being happy and fuck, I'm really happy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 